Adolf Hitler was born April 20th, 1889. He was born to a civil servant in Austria and grew up in a small home with his mother and father, plus seven siblings. When he was growing up, young Hitler enjoyed social studies. He said that the only reason he enjoyed it was his teacher made it interesting by regaling them with tales of the past Germany, and Hitler quickly realized he wanted to restore Germany to its former glory. His ambition grew and grew with him until he was set on that, and one other thing. Adolf Hitler was aspiring to be an artist before he was rejected from the Vienna School of Arts and referred to an architecture school. This left him with one goal, raise Germany from its poor economic status. He declined the reverence and lived off the streets, doing odd jobs for many years, watching Germany's economy crumble. In 1919, Hitler was extremely angry, and he had blamed the Jews, and many more religions other than Christianity, for Germany's poor economic status. He had always been a good speaker, and as time went on, he started learning what the people wanted, and made speeches about these ideals. His speeches led to him starting the Nazi party. The Nazi party led riots that eventually got too violent and Hitler was arrested. In prison, Hitler had enough time to write Mein Kampf. When Hitler got out of prison, he recreated the disbanded Nazi party and made more speeches. Eventually, his movement gained thousands of followers, and Hitler rose to power. He was the Chancellor of Germany. He lied to his country and secretly took away their free speech, freedom to the public movements, and religious rights. On a night dubbed the Night of Broken Glass, Jews were chased by the Schutzstaffel out of cities. Their shops and homes were destroyed. This was when the Jews realized that Hitler was not for the German people and Jews. He simply wanted more land for Germany. He got Austria to willingly join them, and he took Czechoslovakia with little resistance. This is where Britain declared war on Germany. After these events, Hitler started sending Jews off to concentration camps. In that time, they could still leave the camps if they had visas to other countries. Soon after, the Allies would form. This was mainly Britain, France, the United States, and the USSR, but there was many more too. From September 1st, 1939, World War II raged on until Adolf Hitler committed suicide on April 30th, 1945. Most of the Axis had collapsed by then, but Japan was still fighting until the two fateful nuclear bomb attacks from the U.S. into Japan, specifically into Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The war was officially over September 2nd, 1945. Adolf Hitler stood against the people who opposed him by taking their power away from them killing the people who believed had collapsed Germany's economy and leading Germany into war. Fortunately, he did not succeed. The way Hitler affected the modern world was by destroying Europe's hegemony over most of the world and its influence over the rest. By the end of the war, the powers like Great Britain had, that had held the world in domination were not wealthy enough, strong enough, or willing to take charge. It also declined church attendance to having a maximum of 30% attendance at the Christian churches, meaning the Christian religion had less of a hold in Europe. When Europe's grasp of power had ended, the United States started to thrive and grow. Hitler's reign still has influences across the world, even in the United States.